Hello Cancers, I know I am late on this, but um, thanks for tuning in to my channel. I am doing a um, love read, it's like a general slash love read. Um, love reads do sound like general reads because, you know, love reads are not basically going to sound like um, Prince Charming and Snow White. So, we're just going to um, dive in there here. Um, Alright. I'm getting a feel, it's like a half and half, like some of you are getting into relationships and some of you are just not here. Um, I'll put some lotion on here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do eight major arcanas and then I'm going to do eight minor minors to clarify them here, but it's still coming from my intuitives here, okay? All right, let's get started here with... Um, Cancer, love read, cancers, 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 oh, wow, look at you that, with the lovers, wait, wow, this is weird, you got the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Temperance all in reverse, we're going to do this over the lovers, can you also see this, cancers here, alright, ooh, we got, ooh, you still got cards that are, ooh, you still got cards that reversed here. So you got the tower card reversed, you got the hang person reversed, and you got the emperor reversed here. So we're going to check into that and see what's going on there. I'm going to pick eight cards here. Cancer. Cancer rivers. Okay, you got the star card. Okay. A little wishful thinking there. And you got the death card in reversed. I don't like leaving the cards reversed like that. Got the Heaven reverse, and you got the Will of Fortune reverse. Okay, Cancers, let's see what's going on. We're gonna we got the Lovers, the Tower, the Hanged Person, the Emperor, the Star, the Death, and the Hierophant, and the Will of Fortune here. The only one that did not come out in reverse was the Lovers card. So we're going to see um and the Star card. Okay, so we're gonna check up on and see what's going on with you with the Lovers card here. We're gonna clarify that for the Cancers here. There could be some motion in the ocean, or it could be some dead fish here, let's be honest, all right? Okay. <clears throat> cancers here. For lovers, 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 cancers, lover you, cancers, cancers, cancers. Cancers, cancers, love, love, love. Right. There's some anxiety going on with this Nine of Swords here. Um, I don't feel like this is bad anxiety. I feel like some of you know you want love, but they, you're kind of shying away from it a little bit from probably past experience or things like that. Or it could be something that's um, personal that's bothering you here. Don't let it bother you, okay? Because you keep it's like you snag onto the past a lot here. It could because you think you're clarifying something uh, in the current situation. You're really not. You're just holding on to the past. And that's what basically what you're just doing here. Um, some of these you're voicing out some opinions on certain things and you feel like that lashing out or saying certain things here is helping you clarify here. I, um, some of you are covering up the fact that you do want to love life but you're trying to throw some pride in there or trying to make yourself look like you don't want it. Um, because you're probably doing some transformation or changing like you're being independent but it's going about it the wrong way here. Okay. So it's okay to feel like, I'm going to pick out eight cards, clarify the lover's card, okay? So it's okay to um, be loved and love here. Um, we got the swords reversed and the seven of pentacles reversed here. <laughs> okay, you don't want to deal with negative, okay? You're done with that, but it seems like you're... <sighs> There's a little witchy going on here. I don't mean to say that, but a little snappy here, but you don't want it thrown at you. So if I were you, I wouldn't throw it out. You won't get it back, okay? I know this love read sounds weird, but love reads are not, like I said, they're not going to sound like Snow White and Prince Charming here. <clears throat> this came in reverse, too, with the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you're not, tr some of you are not trying to get into love reach relationships. You're actually just trying to, like, talk to people and see where they're coming from in order for you to get in a situation here. You're putting it off, but you're still seeing who's there, like, 
you know, how is this person, you know, what they're talking about. You're trying to get some insight on this person before you do this here. Some of you are taking selfies or making plans about what you're going to do this summer or what you're going to do when you get to this point here. You're doing this here. So you're doing some stuff for yourself, probably eating healthy or going to the gym or taking care of yourself or thinking about making plans, what you're going to do here. Yeah, with this Ace of Pentacles here. So you're basically dealing with whatever is positive going on in your life right now in the current moment. You're not looking. You probably were looking before when you said you're just not going to do that right now. Not right now, okay? You're liking where you're at. You're comfortable where you're at. And you don't. And you, some of you are dealing with people who are backstabbers or people that are not right. You're clearing them out of the air. You don't want that negativeness around you here. Okay, with this Seven of Swords here, you don't want that negative around there. You're kind of secretly not telling anyone that you're doing some changes in your life. You're just basically keeping them to yourself here. Yeah, with this um, Nine of Cups here. Okay, like you probably want love, but you're not saying anything you're just seeing who's there for you how they're talking how they're responding to you here i don't know if you can let's see if you can see this here how they're um let me see just a second i'm gonna put this in there okay like you're almost um seeing who's there for you besides just jumping into a relationship or, or a friendship or anything um with that with the lovers card here so some of you do have someone in mind some of you do have flirts or you have friends that you talk to but you're not trying to push the issue here but it seems like you're trying to find out where they're coming from before you even start calling them your friend or your lover or your boyfriend or your girlfriend here okay so that's what you're doing right now um and then you have the tower card here um yeah, the tower card here. Okay, let's see. I think, um, I think yeah, that came in reverse. So we're going to check that out and see what's going on with that here. With Cancer, with the tower card here. Something you're not dealing with here. I feel like it's a person. Um, it's like you're not dealing with here. You probably talked about them on and off. But as far as things that are like the conversations you guys used to have, you're kind of squashing that now. Let's see, Cancer's with the tower card. Lovers here. Yeah, this came in reverse too, but with the Princess of Cups here. Yeah, it's like you're looking further into making friends and talking to other people here. It's like you just, something just fell off here with this situation. Um, something you just don't want to deal with anymore here. And with this Ace of Wands here, you're making new friends or making new contacts here with other people. And you're liking your new contacts better here. Um, and this came in reverse here. Four of Wands here. Something's not secured here. I feel like you, um, you seem like you're uncomfortable. You're unstable with someone. Um, this person, you had them locked in like a friend or someone you can console in. And it feel like they're not, it's like they're not available for you. And you feel like you have to look elsewhere for a friend or, um, or for someone you trust here. I'm not saying you guys don't have friends, but it's just someone really, you feel comfortable with someone like loyal, someone you can trust here. I don't care if you have a million friends, it still has to be with someone that you trust or a lover or the case may be here. Okay? Um, tower card with the cancer here. Yeah. You you guys rather go back and stick with yourself here. With this princess of wands here. You you rather stick with yourself, be with yourself right now, even though you still talk to people and still seeing where they're coming from here because you don't mind biting your tongue. I mean, you bite your tongue, but you don't mind saying what you have to say with this Knight of Swords here. Because I feel like some people are, it's like a back and forth battle here, but it's kind of in, kind of discreet. Like they're trying not to let them know that they're saying anything about you or something like that. Tower card. So you're just trying to stay away from the negatives and focus on things that are future wise here. Like I said, for the summer. You're changing your health, doing something different, or thinking about making plans on what you're going to do with yourself here. I mean, for that to come out. <clears throat> it probably was meant to come out with like two cards of cancer. Well, what is tower card here? Yeah. Yeah, you want to stamp out negative things, but I feel like some of you are seeing certain things to people you don't mean to say it so if you don't want the negatives don't bring them around you don't bring them to you here 
Okay, um, Cancer's here. Yeah, this is um, Eight of Swords here. Because it seems like people are coming to you sideways here. And you have to realize, if you're putting up certain kind of posts or certain things you're responding, how your responses, think before you say them here. Because you don't know how you're coming off across the people and you're, you're kind of figuring out, oh, I know why they're acting like that. And I understand now. You kind of get some understanding here. Okay, I know you feel like when once you're talking to someone, it's you can conversate for days on end, you know, but certain things, you know, you just have to be careful what you say. You don't know what people are going through here, and that can kind of cause you to doubt relationships here. Oh, I better not say anything to them because they're going to react to this, and I'm not going to say anything to them, you know, and stuff like that. I know you're kind of fickle about what I'm saying here, but, you know, sometimes that happens because I'm... Um, even when you're in a relationship, I don't care if it's lovers, your sex is the best thing in the world. It's still your conversations or certain things that you say or certain things that you bring up can cause some kind of problems there. So just be careful when you're what you're saying and stuff here. This is the hanged woman here. I don't think they have the hanged man. So I don't know why they just said hanged woman. I don't know if it's not in here. Okay. This is someone who basically is stuck on what they believe. They're going to stay by their word here. Cancer with lovers here. Okay. Yep. This is the Queen of Swords. You're not going to back down on what you believe here. You're going to stick by your plans here, but you still want the love here. It's like That's why I said you're going back and forth with saying things and doing this and doing that. And then one minute you want to say something and the next minute you want to be sweet here. It almost sounds like a Pisces thing. Well, it's still a water sign. Okay? And this is Nine of Swords here and it leaves you left like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said it. I should take it down. Oh no, I'm going to keep it up here. It's like a back and forth thing that you're doing with yourself here. And um, I don't know if it's some new thing you're doing here, but I don't know if you're targeting, it, targeting this at someone. This is your love read. Yeah, it sounds weird, but love is different t today. I'm just going to explain it. It's not like it was before. Love is extremely different. It seems like it's about who's talking to, who's doing this. Um, it's about social media. It, it's different. So your love reads are not going to come out like a love, like in a fairy tale. They're just not, you know, it depends on what you're doing here. And now we have men that are gossiping, you know, and it's just a lot going on here. Um, this is you focusing on certain things you want secured in your life, and it's basically bit family, because love reads can also have family in them too, okay? So you're making sure that's okay here. Yeah, and you're making sure no one's talking about someone or you're looking up. It's like you're looking after someone who's there for you, but you're making sure that someone is not. It's like you're being helping the underdog person, what I'm trying to say here. I don't know why your read is coming out this way for love here. And this is you. You feel like um, you don't have to take on any burdens anymore. So you're feeling free to do what you want to do, but you chose to be to yourself. But you're still exercising um, on some getting to know certain people you're t in t you're talking to here, exercising your skills or your character or whatever on people here. Okay. Yeah. This is Ten of Cups here. Um, some of you are talking to family here, which is making you open up to love, is making you comfortable with yourself here. And this is Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, this Ten of Cups is basically has something to do with that. It's making you open up and not feeling so down about certain things about yourself here. Because sometimes you be yourself and you think it's okay to do it. And certain people don't like how you're coming across them. I don't know if it's something you're saying to them or whatever the case may be, Cancer. So basically, some of the relationships that you have doubts with, um, just think about what, no offense, sir, a lot of people don't believe in zodiac signs. That's why I put that post up there when I said um, fire goes with air and um, earth goes with water here. And that's why I do that because some people don't believe in zodiacs and they end up with the wrong person. It's because of their sign. Because um, fire signs, no offense, I know some people do go with water signs. They, they, I mean, they just don't click very well. I mean, it's exciting, you know, but it's like, it's still, it's an up and down situation here. So be careful who you're dealing with here. 
when you're dealing with getting in relationships, make sure you know their sign. Because earth signs go very good with water signs because they're both grounded. Water is on the ground, earth is on the ground, and air and fire is in the air. It keeps going and it, it, it keeps going until it lands somewhere, you know, and you guys are grounded here. And you're probably dealing with people who are, they can't stop, they can't sit down, they keep going, they keep going here, and that's not you, okay? So just think about, put that in line here. Okay, you have the Hierophant here. Um, so both of you are exercising your power. See, your cards keep coming in reverse here. You're having some doubts with some because I feel like the right people you want are not around you here. You're not feeling inspired too much, so you're getting to certain people. Yeah, you're voicing your opinions with this Prince of Swords here. And this Three of Wands, you're focusing on your future here. But the right people are not around you here. Because you're feeling good about yourself, but you're not getting the attraction of certain people that you want here. This is the Ace of Cups here, yeah. You, you want, it's like you want certain people to be around you here. I'm not saying the people you want, you don't like them, but you want someone else's attention here. And you don't know how to go about getting it here, okay? Because you've been hurt before or scarred before by someone who's like that. That's why I said make sure you're dealing with the right sign that goes with water signs. And I really so heartily feel like earth signs go with water signs very well. Air signs are okay too, but they're a little. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's different. It's just, you, know, you gotta get with that here, okay? I don't like that. This is the higher friend for Cancer. What are signs here? Okay, now two water signs, two air Cancers. That's wow. Okay, this is Nine of Cups here. You want this love. You had it before, but your back was against the wall before. Okay? You have to pay attention to who you're with. It's not all about the love. It's not all about what you're doing, the kisses and things. I know it sound, you sound like, what the heck is she talking about? Well, it is true. Because if you're not connecting and you're not vibing, I don't care how many kisses you give someone or whatever, it's not going to work. Okay? Vibe with someone who vibes with you. Okay, and you're gonna feel that vibe. You're gonna feel it. It's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel mutual here. You know, and I'm not saying go around and asking people, are you an Earth sign, are you an Aries, or something like that. But you know who suits you here. Okay, and you feel comfortable with that because you guys are not the same person, but you have the same values here, and you're, you'll be laid back and more comfortable here. Okay. Yeah, and things, they won't be in your head. You won't feel uncomfortable with yourself. Because it's probably not yourself. It's just that person that you're with is probably just not the right person, Cancer. Okay? Yeah, this came in reverse here. Your wands keep coming in reverse scheme wands because you feel like you just met or just put up with yourself right now until you get out or until you start, you know, getting inspired by yourself here with this higher front here, okay? So make sure you're with the right person, you know? That's very important here. I know people don't believe in zodiacs and all that stuff, but it's real here because they have certain character. Um, they have cer certain characters about them here okay we have certain characters about them and that's how they are here just a second okay we had a little magic going on here the cards that were picked for you disappeared that's very strange so i had the, these came out for you the magician and the devil came out reversed the temperance came out sideways and the moon came out so we're going to clarify these they they actually disappeared so if you look back at the video in the first, I don't, those cards are gone. They are they were right here in my face and they disappeared. And I looked all in the stack and they're gone. So we're going to just focus on these here. Okay, this is the magician for the Cancer. Um, over here, let's see. Something you're making happen here. I don't know if you're taking pictures or you're still talking to. Yeah, you're still talking to people with this King of Cups here, okay? You're still reaching out to people, talking to them, whether they're men, women, or whatever the case may be. You're still 
talking to people reaching out here no matter what's going on here with your situation yep and you're getting your monies together your food you're just doing things for yourself you're not a pentacles here to make yourself feel better if you're alone or seeing whatever the case may be here and you're still thinking about with this two of wands what you want to do with yourself here um making plans for yourself here you're really excited about this because you're keeping it to yourself see with this queen of swords here you're keeping it to yourself you're not telling anyone that's the best way to go here so you won't be discouraged here but don't tell anyone else what to do okay all right okay but that looks like six of pentacles here. Let's see. It's nine of pentacles. Yeah, you got nine of pentacles here. Yeah. Some of you are probably going out with friends or. Oh, this is weird. Now these fell off. Let's see here. Now these fell off. That's weird. Okay. So some of you are probably hanging out with friends doing different things here. Your cards keep coming in reversed here. Yeah, because it's like you're not doing anything just yet. It's like you, you, you're making these plans and you're like, well, I'm going to do this later. I want to get started with this. I'm just going to take care of this first. It's like that's what a lot of you are doing here. Because you're trying to squat, get some clarification. You're trying to um, squash some issues with people or um, something's trying to be, you're trying to do some expl explaining about something with people here, okay? Like they're trying to see how you're doing or why you're talking like this and you want to explain yourself. It's like you're building your character back up. You're building your pride back up with that magician card here. With these cards here okay you feel like you need to do that before you start doing anything okay and that's what it seems like you're doing here and you have the moon card here um cancer here um some of you are probably not sleeping or resting very well i feel like you're worried about family or you could be thinking about your health here a lot of that plays too and love reads here because if you're not comfortable with yourself you're not going to be comfortable with um getting into real romantic situations here okay so a lot of this plays a big major role with love too here yeah you want to get yourself together here but you want to um with this with this nine of pentacles you're getting yourself together but you want to make sure you're okay with this five of swords here with we um um, past situations or resentment or some kind of abandonment or something went on or health issues you want to deal with that here you want to fight these demons out of the way before you start getting into anything here i don't think no one can go into motion if they're not personally healed from things here okay all right it, i kind of went overboard with you guys because i couldn't find those cards down here yeah you got two of swords here you're getting these swords here because you want this stuff out of the way you want these negative things out of your life here and you want to start talking to friends and caring it makes you feel very very comfortable when you're like that here and this is two of pentacles here you're trying to balance out things in your life here whether it's with people whether you're dealing with your health your home and you want to make sure everything is okay here before you start going out doing this here okay i feel like you don't have to be afraid to go out and look and be yourself here knight of wands here you don't have to be afraid here because i feel like you think someone's going to take advantage of you or take advantage of who you are here and you're kind of putting things off here well we can't change anyone here we can't change anyone on who they are so we're going to have to make some sacrifices here watch out for the red flags though here um this came in reverse this knight of swords here so i feel like you're not blind to the fact on who you want to deal with here you already made up your mind like who you want to deal with no i don't want to deal with them i don't want to be with them and some of you are doing a little spending too much and not paying attention you're paying attention to what it's doing but you feel like you deserve this this is what i deserve i deserve this this is what i need to do here okay and you're being spontaneous about things here you're probably keeping it to yourself listening to music or thinking back of old times of fun things here with yourself or you're probably talking to someone with it or putting up a post or something like that but something's not coming together for you because you're trying to bring build your character up here 
Cancer here, okay? Love reads are not going to be about someone. It's going to be based on building yourself up so you can get that right love in your life here. But that's how my love reads are. And that's, see, like that's the proper way to do it here, okay? And this is the devil card here. I think that came reversed here. Someone you just don't want to deal with. There was a big, uh, big elephant in the room with this person here that was in your life before, and you're trying to squash these. It's like it was a lot of deep-rooted past situations here, and you're trying to ignore it, getting yourself together here. You're just basically not talking to them or trying to find out why. You're just doing yourself because it was all in your head with this four of swords, whatever this situation was. It was all in your head. You're trying to move past that. Okay, you're trying to move past that here. You're trying to move past that here. Let's see here. Yeah, you're not talking, but you're getting some secondhand gossip or information about a person. And it's like you're pa getting past, you're getting over it here. And you're burning a flame for yourself with this King of Wands here. You know, getting yourself together, getting you prepared for whatever here. You just don't want to hear about anything past tense here right now. Okay, you're learning new things about yourself or about your culture too, about your people. It is Black History Month. Um, I don't mean to say this to you if you're not a if you're non African American, but I feel some of you are learning about yourself too here, because at, at first you were just not feeling yourself here with this Eight of Cups here. You were not feeling yourself here, and now it is with this Ten of Pentacles here. You want to master on a life for yourself, but you want to take your time and do this. You still want to take your time and do this here. See? With this seven of pentacles here. You're you're taking your time growing your finances, putting yourself together, but it seems like you're keeping this to yourself. I feel like you're keeping this to yourself. You're not telling anyone about it here. And it's not that you're being sneaky. It's just that um you don't want anyone controlling your situation here. You want to control your domain and what you want to do here. Because when you start complaining to people, people start giving you that advice and start confusing you. And you're going to make yourself think that something's going on with you or something is wrong here. Okay? Just a second here. Okay, and you have the temperance card here. You're balancing out or you're weighing out your options about certain things in your life. And what's more meaningful to you? Is it friends? Is it lovers? Is it family? Is it your job? Or things like that. Or your leisure time cancer here. This also has something to do with love. Okay? A lot of us don't know. It's a lot of things come with love. Besides just intimacy and getting married and stuff here. These are your dreams and aspirations here. And you're telling people to back off. This is my life. I'm going to do what I want to do with this seven of um, wands here. You're telling me to back off here. These are your dreams with this three of wands here. And then this five of cups here. There is that one time that you were confused about yourself here with this five of cups here. And it's because of past situations that you were dealing with here, Cancer. Okay? It's time for you to squash that here. I know we are not perfect people. Things are going to happen. <laughs> Just a minute, I have to get this card here. I know things happen here, but it was fluttering you. You were almost flooding here, and you didn't realize you were doing it here. And this is Ace of Wands. You can be bounced back together again, but you're taking your time with it. And you're utilizing the good part of yourself the best way you can here. And that's good here. It's going to lead you to love. It's going to lead you. It's going to take some time, you know, to get back to love again. See? Because you're like you're easing yourself into conversations or dealing with people with this Knight of Wands here. So it's going to easily get back to loving again here. I'm not saying you don't love, but I'm talking about dealing with other people here. See? You want that love. You want that friendship here. But you're taking it slow. You're taking it slow there, okay? All right. Yeah, and you, you, you're still dealing with things at hand. But, Cancer, you have to stop putting yourself 
in these conversations here because you're trying to build some you're trying to beautify yourself you're trying to beautify your heart okay you're trying to turn your you're, you're trying to make that heart beautifying and that's what's important here with this temperance here which you're trying to balance out now you know dealing with friends talking to neighbors putting on a smile taking selfies doing some great things here and this is what's going to make you want love again and not be afraid to show your heart you know show the good side of your heart again here so learn about yourself, learn about people, and do some understanding. Just do some research and networking and learning here. Because some of you are living in the dark in the past here. From relationships or childhood, it could be anything. And some of that is not helping you with the love here. Like you feel like you have to be more of the controlled or more the dominant one. And you really don't have to here. Okay? All right, Cancers, good luck and bless you here. I feel like a lot of you are going to fly in love, but you have to open up and stop putting up these walls here, okay? Cancer, you guys, thanks for watching. Tune in. If you don't understand, you can read the transcript when it goes up or comment or something like that. You guys have blessed day, and thank you for watching, and um, be safe now. Bye now.